Yep, he's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie in the fuck. Oh no, everything's tangled. Okay. Alright, so here's the skinny. Given up on live streaming. <laughs> Uh, after the Super Zeducer one, um, I realised I can't really stream a quality that's good enough. So, and it's kind of, it's kind of a good thing because um, my environment's just way too unpredictable. So what I thought is I'd edit them this time and then just, you know, upload once every Tuesday or something. So this is Ants Extreme Racing. Ooh. It's the Ants. I would say it's the Titan card racing game, but there's a problem with that. It's actually not really Titan because, uh, well, it came out almost a year after the movie. I think it was two. So I don't want to be Woody Allen or this lady. I can't remember who played her in the movie. I think that's Tim Allen's character. I'll be Woody Allen. I'll, I'll go for the upturned skateboard thing. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's stop fucking around. Oh god, that's not creepy. Why did he? Why are they all doing little Nazi salutes? Oh shit! So. Woody Allen has a little pencil. Are they like little rubbers off a pencil? The wheels. Oh shit. Oh my god. Okay. Right. I understand now. This shit's on. Oh. What the fuck. So far this is kind of worse than the Myth Makers game. Kind of. I mean, the control is just ghoulish. Oh, the rats. The, the rats, what the fuck? The ants are um, celebrating my... Oh my god, those ants. This was 2002, I believe. But I get the feeling this was meant to be a PS1 game that was just sort of saved for a year or two. Oh, that isn't the most annoying sound in the world for your car engine. I mean, no. Okay, let's do this one. So I haven't seen the movie of this in nearly a decade. Probably longer, actually, comes to think of it. Yeah, no, I actually haven't seen this since I was about eight, so... We're looking at nearly 20 years. Uh, why are all these bugs treated as lessers and forced to work as engines for ants' amusements? It's a fucking bunch of fascists. Also, I'm pretty sure that this is Noddy's world from that other thing. Okay, so, yeah, I haven't seen the film of this in, like, 20 years, um, but no one remembers it fondly. I think it's because the character designs are just so ugly. I don't remember disliking it as a film as a kid, but then again, kids have horrible taste in films, so... What are these little pink bugs over my head? So yeah, I think they actually got um, Tim Allen and uh, Woody Allen to uh, those famous brothers um, to perform together in the, this game. Uh, you lend their voice talent to this uh, masterpiece game. Oh, I'm second. Holy shit. Yeah, high hopes, bitch. Oh my god, look at that depressed fly thing just waving the flag. God, that's creepy. Wait, is this a running race? Holy shit. Oh, there's the evil baddie. You can tell he's a baddie because he always looks grumpy. You never get grumpy characters in these sorts of things that are just nice. 
Oh my god, that running just like creepy as all fuck. Oh shit. This isn't fair. The soldier ants clearly have an advantage because they've got like athletic training. I'm a worker ant. Actually, I never really understood that. How um, the worker ants were so weak and weedy and the soldier ants that never did anything from one year to another were always so goddamn huge in their... Like, you'd think the miners would have the bigger muscles. And as well, you might think I'm being picky and pedantic. But there's a scene in the movie where a soldier swaps places with a worker. And the soldier is actually really effective in the mines because he's huge. And he's able to use two pickaxes when most people can only use one. And he just basically hacks a wall to pieces in seconds. Oh no. It's turned into that snowboarding game again. Is this set after the movie? Why are they letting the general participate? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! Oh my god, this is actually worse than Snowboard, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's actually worse. So one question I've got is, is this better or worse than the Bugs Life tying game? I guess we'll find out one day because I own that on PS1. I just feel like I'm tempting fate with that one though. Oh no. Turned into Rayman for a second. Whenever I play a game that I, uh, somebody else has played, I always um, get kind of nervous that someone's just going to come along and bitch and be all like, no, somebody else did that. Because I've seen it on Twitter and stuff before. Actually, I was going to write ass dick, but I'll make a movie reference to the movie. Youch. I think that's how you spell youch. I mean, it's technically not a word, but... Oh god, I hope this shit isn't dire. Oh feck. I'm not happy now. Shit. Alright, I think I should restart the level because I kind of fucked that one. <laughs> Just push him out of the way. Oh my god, this. This control is dire. Actually, it's easier with the D pad. It's infinitely easier with the D-pad. Oh my god, it's just a whole different game with the D-pad. <laughs> oh, fuck off. If the control in this wasn't so terrible, it wouldn't be anywhere near as bad. Oh my god, the fact that this thing just twists all over the place actually makes me sad. Look at that. That's it. That's lost me the race. One of my friends um, basically has seen a lot of Woody Allen movies. He uh, bought quite a lot of them because uh, a lot of people appreciate him. He's quite a talented guy. But he always said this was the best Woody Allen film and I, I agree. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is what his career will be uh, remembered for. Ants. I actually have nothing against ants, it's just funny. <laughs> I don't particularly. A lot of people dislike ants, uh, especially given its character's design is kind of ugly. And I also didn't like the sort of red tint every character had. Like, they always had a sort of red outline. I don't know if it's just me or my copy of the film, or if it was just... But every character had some sort of red tint on the outline, and it just always distracted me throughout the film. I was like, are they radioactive or some shit? Probably, yeah, looking at them. I mean, Jesus. Whew. Came third, fuck yeah. 
No. Never want to look at that again. Treetop Tangle. Let's do it. Bitches. Colonel Cutter. Oh god. Oh, do you have to like hammer the. Alright, let's. Oh, so Turbo actually fucked my chances up of actually winning. <laughs> Oops. This isn't a very nice world where lesser race insects are forced to, like, just be vehicles for their masters. I'm not sure I like this. It doesn't help either that they keep doing fascist salutes. kind of miss simple graphics like this. I don't know why, I always used to appreciate them more. still do, to be honest. Whoa, what the shit?! Shoved a thruster up the beetle's ass. So that's what those things are. The power-ups. I've been avoiding them the whole time. Because I thought they were dangerous and that they'd only like... But they were power-ups. They were helping me. They were kind. I'm going to try to avoid walking into them because I think... What in shit? I walked into a wall and I exploded. <laughs> I find that kind of funny. Just that awful noise that the flies make as you move them. Oh my god, what the shit? Okay, so if you press forward now, you basically try tunneling into the ground and die. Oh my god, you can actually fly over everything. That's incredible. Those big tentacle things. Is this a hentai now? Oh my god. The hell was that? Some sort of nuke? Oh Jesus. Okay. Whoa! Oh, there we go. Speedway 8. Watch out for the pecking bird. Alright. Bet that bird pecks head, you know. Nobody says that anymore, pecks head. When I was a kid, every kid, everybody used to say, Oh my god, that pecks head. And everyone just stopped saying it. Needs to come back as a thing, that. I like that car. That's kind of cool. Don't know if you can technically call these cars. They're more like insect torture devices. That slightly resemble cars. Oh my god. Fucking head pecking bird. Oh, well, there's the red. I don't know what the red one does. I'll have to try it on my next lap. Oh, there we go. Oh, I never got to use it. Oh. Okay, um... Right, okay, so if I change character... Shit. Fuck. Ah, oh, bollocks. I don't know where I'm going. This track is awfully designed. Wrong way. Uh oh. Maybe if the track wasn't so shite. Challenge failed. I'm pretty sure I failed it because of that end. Of whatever this is. Oh, tits. Challenge completed. 
Picnic Panic, SWAT Team. That poor fucking cricket just being tortured for absolutely no reason. Just so this bitch and her stupid friends can have a go-kart race. Oh, what in shit's name? Oh, shit. I, I kind of skipped everything there. My one. Can't say I've had this nightmare before. Sure as hell looks like one with all the weird blurring and red and whatever. Oh god, I gotta get there in 38 seconds. I think I'm basically fucked. Oh no, I made it just barely. Great. Go through the gates. It's Slayer. Oh no, not this fuck. No! Oh shit. I don't think this will be as bad because I don't actually have to win anything. So I don't really want to be missing these at all. Because it will just fuck me in the long run. Fuck. Guess I'm fucked in the long run. Yeah, so one thing that I'd very much uh, love to do as part of this series is Dark Cloud from, like, beginning to end. Oh, shit. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. Oh, great. I'll have to get the four second penalty. Because I actually played through most of that game the other year. Um, but then the copy that I had basically broke... And things went tits up, oh fuck, tits up. So, um, basically just had to accept that I had to buy another copy uh, because the game would crash at a certain point every time I played it. So I bought a second copy, but that by that point, because the game copies are so rare, by the time I found one, it had been like three months and my interest in Dark Cloud had just completely withered to basically nothing. Um, fuck off. Shit! That's not my fault, that one. But anyway, um, I never actually got to finish Dark Cloud because it was, uh, you know, it was broken, the copy that I had. But anyway, they've re-released it on PS4. So... What I've basically gone and done is installed it and everything, so it's all ready to go. So I was hoping to start that um, sometime soon. See, that's partly why I wanted to do um, these as a, as a stream. Because I feel like it would be a bit more, I don't know, like, fun to be able to play a game like Dark Cloud and... Uh, talk about the whole, you know, town building aspect and shit. Fuck! When I rebuild Nolan North Town in that game. Last time I had quite an elitist like model where I basically saw it as an opportunity to put myself up in the world by basically opportunistically slap my house right next to the uh, mayor's house um, and exiled the uh, sort of gypsy characters to the edge of town. And basically the characters I liked got to live near me. Oh, fuck you. But the ones I didn't had to live, like, further out. And I went a little mad with power, admittedly. I started referring to certain citizens as bourgeoisie. It was a lot of fun. I'd like to do it again, uh, the whole going mad with power thing. I do like that whole having to rebuild the town thing, because there's an investment level in 
actually having to restore the town and save your friends and family. But it's also that sort of underlying... Um, I guess you could say it's kind of like Fable in the sense that you have the ability to do right, but at the same time you kind of have the ability to do wrong. Um, and the ability to do wrong is quite compelling. Like, you could just restore it the way that it was, or you could maybe, like, put yourself next to the resources or something to make sure you always stay on top. I'd actually like it if Dark Cloud had a sort of HD remake or something, and the actually implemented such a system. I don't like moral choice systems per se, but maybe implement a system where you benefit more, but other people dislike you for it because you're changing the town. I think that could potentially add a new layer of depth to that game. I mean, to be fair, it was made in like 2001, so I wasn't expecting it in the base game, but in a modern day game, I imagine you could actually do some quite... Um, fun stuff. See, I I kind of... Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm fucked. Shit. Okay, let me try it one more time and then I'm gonna fucking blow my brains out. <laughs> A moral choice system, uh, I personally think could be done well under the right, you know... Under the right developer, the right writers, the right people. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of moral choices. Uh, it's why I prefer Dragon Age to Mass Effect overall, really, is just the improved um, moral choices. Because I don't need to be told when I've done a bad thing and when I've done a good thing. Um... I mean, I think I brought it up in my Postal video, how Fallout 3 has a situation where you get the good, you get good karma for installing a genocidal maniac into a tower uh, who basically kills everybody in the tower. And if you then kill him after that, then you get penalized with negative karma, which, you know, is technically not even a penalty if you're evil, but you know what I mean. Uh, the whole idea of, oh, we say you're evil because you killed this guy. And Fallout 2 did the same thing. You were evil if you killed slavers. Don't ask me how that works. Just happen that way. So I, I hate moral choice systems. Especially when they shape the whole game like Mass Effect. Where it's kind of like, oh, well, I would help that person. But, um... Fuck my life. Thank fuck. Free lap driving race in the rain. Careful now. What is this? Father Ted Racer. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't especially hate it if uh, they either made, remade Dark Cloud or had a spiritual successor that had a bit more depth to it. But the game for its time is fantastic. I really like that game. I liked it as a kid, but never bought it, and I always kind of kicked myself for years that I didn't buy it. Because it was legitimately fantastic. I thought I might find something just as good in uh, White Knight Chronicles. I was wrong. <laughs> White Knight Chronicles is not very good. Um, some people liked it, I personally didn't. It's not the worst game I've ever played. But considering that Dark Cloud, I personally felt, was really good. White Knight Chronicles was just one of those things I feel should have been better than it was. Could have been, should have been, would have been if, you know, they didn't fuck it up so horrendously. Also, it has, like, the most pointless create a character character in any game I've ever played who actually features in the campaign. Don't get squashed. Good advice. Oh, there's the termites. I remember they go to war with the termites even though the termites are kind of out on their side. 
I think the whole thing, like, I don't know, because it's been years since I've seen the damn thing, but, uh... I think Ants is supposed to basically be a, um... Sort of allegory sort of thing about... I don't know, Nazis or something. Oh, fuck my gay life. You know what? I think I'm going to restart. Because I don't think I'm actually going to be capable of winning that one. And I'd rather not waste my time because I've got like 10 minutes before I give up on this game forever. Oh, shit. Fucking termites. Fuck. No. Don't know why I'm following this lot. When I could be going my own way. God, the music's like so passionate in this game. Which is kind of tragic because, uh. I mean, it's this game. I used to like those fake backdrops that they used to do in games like this and Rayman M. Where they'd have like a fake horizon. And it was always kind of uh... Like that there. Oh fuck off. Fuck! Yeah I can't really go there because... Oh Jesus shitting Christ. Oof, fourth. Ugh, you know what, fuck it. What's the next one? Oh my god, right. Apparently need to get, like, second or first on that one. Maybe I can. Maybe I'm fucked. If I'm fucked, I'm not going to shed any tears. I think I've done my bit. Towards critiquing this masterpiece. Sonic's got an attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest thing alive. <laughs> Someone asked me, I uh, can't remember who. Um, they asked if I was going to see the new Sonic movie. And obviously my answer is uh, yes. I'm going to see Sonic and the Magic Railroad. Or whatever it's called. Oh, you miserable shit. I would have thought that he'd kill himself if I pushed him towards the edge. Like he'd just run off and the AI couldn't pathfind around that, but apparently apparently it can. Oh, tits. I don't know why you'd go that way if you didn't want to just fail completely. Ha. Bitch ass. Oh, there we go. Entry rank, fifth place you gotta get. Oh, Jesus. Three laps on top of a bug racing around treetops. Fine, whatever. Let's do it! Oh, spiders. God, it must be humiliating being ridden by your prey to victory. Oh my god, what in the fuck? I think the birds scare the spider. Oh, what the fuck? You fucking bunch of fascists. Why did you do that? I'll see if it's unlocked the final level. I think I could actually get first place on this one and then unlock it. 
<sighs> Just, the question is, do I actually want to? The answer... Probably not, but I'm here now, so let's just do it. Fuck off, Colonel Cutter. You know why he's called Colonel Cutter? Because he cuts people. <laughs> wonder if that was the movie's explanation. Oh, fuck's sake! What the fuck happened? Alright, Princess Bitch Face. You hate me and I hate you even more. But one day, we're gonna look back on this moment in our lives and remember that this whole thing is basically about ants on the PlayStation 2, so none of it matters. So let's get over our hatred of each other and win this fucker. We've got high hopes. We got high hopes. We got high fuck. Fucking cock. Right. Russian air shunny. Shit. There we go. Yes. Oh no, I've not got to look thing in one day. So that was Ants Extreme Racing. That was Better than I feared, worse than I'd hoped. I think that sums it up, that picture there. Toodles.